In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this video and text movie title intro in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Inside Premiere, I already have my footage imported, so all I'm gonna do is just right click inside of this section here, go over to New Item, Color Map, and make sure that these settings just match what you want your sequence to be. Just press OK. And then what you're gonna do is just select any random color that you want. I'm gonna choose red, just press OK. Press OK again. Then click and drag that color mat onto the timeline. And you can also drag that footage over top of that color mat. Then just go up and select the graphics tab. Then press T on the keyboard or go over here and select the type tool. Then change this from fit to 25%. Then just click and drag. And once you make this nice and big, so there's nothing getting cut off whenever we zoom into the text later. Then just type in what you want your text to say. Then go over here under the central graphics section, make sure that you have the text selected and then just make some small adjustments here. You can adjust the scale. Make sure that you have all the text selected first. You can adjust the scale. You can bring it up or bring it down. Me, I just want to center up everything. Then I'm just going to make sure I center it up within the frame. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to go ahead and change this back to fit and then reselect the selection tool. And I do want to make this a little bit bigger. So let's just hop over to the editing tab and then I'm just going to scale this up just a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Once I have the text looking the way that I want, I'm just gonna go down here, select this double arrow, then go down to effects. And I'm gonna type in track matte key. And just click and drag that onto my footage and drag that onto the color mat. Don't worry about dragging it onto the text layer. Make this a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna select the color mat. And I'm gonna scroll down under effects controls under track matte key and change matte to video three. And if you don't see anything at first, that's fine. It's all going to change here in a second. Then I also want to make sure that I go to the drone footage, scroll down to where it says track mat key and change that mat to video three as well. Now it's starting to look the way that I want, but it does still have this weird red outline to it. So I'm going to fix that and get the color to fade out as well. So in order to fix this, I'm going to first click on the color mat, scroll all the way down to where it says opacity, click on the stopwatch for opacity, make sure it's set to 100. Then I'm going to go forward 20 frames and just change that down to zero. Then without moving the time marker on the timeline, I'm just gonna click on my footage and I'm gonna scroll down to opacity on this effects control layer as well. Click the stopwatch, make sure that it's set to 100% and then I'm just gonna bring the time marker all the way back and change that opacity down to zero. So the footage is fading in and the color is fading out at the same time, it should look like this. And that's looking pretty good so far. So now I wanna make the text zoom in. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go back over to the effects tab. I'm gonna type in basic 3D and drag that basic 3D onto my text layer. Once you've added basic 3D, you wanna make sure that it's showing up above the text portion inside of effects control. So if it looks like this, all you have to do is just simply click and drag that basic 3D above the text tab. Now I'm ready to animate my text so that it zooms through the actual letters. So in order to do this, I'm gonna first go to the beginning of the timeline and I'm gonna go down under basic 3D and select the stopwatch for distance to image. Then I'm gonna go down under the text tab. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says transform and then under position, I'm gonna click the stopwatch as well. Then scroll back up to basic 3D and then I'm gonna just bring this down just a little bit. You can play around with this to make it look the way that you want to. That looks pretty good to me. Then I'm gonna go down on my timeline to the point to where I want the text to be all the way zoomed through. Right here works for me. Then I'm gonna adjust the distance to image. Just bring this all the way up and just kind of play around this to make it look the way that you want to. And once you find the proper position, just zoom that all the way through, play this back. And I think that looks pretty good. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.